use this one to warm the LCD. First things, disconnect the battery, disconnect the LCDs from the mother port, and then you home. You home the LCD. This is a tutorial video on how to change LCD. You warm the LCD. My hot air station is on 315 degree on temperature. Now it's on uh, 345. That's the maximum I allow it to go while I'm heating up the screen. If it now it's warm, how do you know that? You feel by your hand. You must still be able to touch it, but not for too long. When you see that you are not able to touch it, you must know you have heated too much. That's how I measure. And then it will be easy to come out after that. So now it comes the most important part to prepare the surface before you put another screen. At this part, at this time, you need to prepare this grill and by taking out anything that is inside this grill, whether the old glue or some glasses that are left there or any rubbish as you see man got some sand like dust things so this is the part where you remove those things mm -hmm. I'll have to remove that thing there I'm using a brush don't touch the camera Try by all means to protect the camera so now I can clean freely but I know the camera is no longer in my way clean the grill again and I'm using a screwdriver I'm using a stack of screwdriver there is a machine for that but if you don't have it that doesn't mean you cannot do the job if you want you can even put gloves i advise you to do that especially if you are new otherwise these glasses for lcd they are very sharp and uh, i also advise you to put uh, eye protection to protect your eyes now we can see because I can feel that there's nothing inside there there's nothing there So now I'm putting my camera back. Just make sure there's nothing in it. Yeah, it's super fun. And then yeah, I'm testing. I'm testing uh, the screen before we do anything. Before we put the clues, what, what, what? Let's first test the screen. Fix it there. Fix it at the back. 
I'm dragging. I uh, need to borrow the charger. I plug my charger. It's important to test everything. This is charging. Remember, this flex comes from the LCD, and this is the same flex that take power from this charging flex into this flex, which also comes from the LCD. This is the flex. This is the the flex. This one, and uh, this one. That's the one that comes out here. Uh, so one uh, LCD. I mean one single flex that it comes with LCD it's responsible through these ICs it's responsible for charging it's responsible for for this this is your mouthpiece it's also responsible for network it's also responsible for sound it was this way you put your earphones so that sound when you're playing songs that sound comes through this flex uh, into this board which is the charging flex and and divide it into where it's supposed to be so it's very important to check everything network mouthpiece if it's working after changing lcd it's a very crucial stage so in this point i'll be only be able to check the if it's touching and it's charging i can see it's charging because i don't have access to the phone the owner didn't give me the password to the phone That's auto brightness. Hey, how's my brother? Hey, it's Abraham. Ah, yeah, my friend. Ah, my brother. Uh... Yeah, after massaging. After you've put in the clue, after you've carefully placed your LCD. After we have carefully cleaned your frame and after you have carefully tested your LCD, carefully tested your LCD. Hola, hola, Poza. Hola, Poza. covers nicely don't push too hard remember there's the LCD that you just put there it may not be sitting straight so any hard push may cause it to crack then the top front uh -huh. that can must not be for the class
brought to you by King of Sarah. Brought to you by King of Sarah. on the phone care. Brought to you by King of Sarah. With God on the phone care. All right. Now that's the time you get your clothes and the benzene. To scrape your clients' phone. Remove that plastic. You scrape your client's phone. Guys, most of you, you don't do this. But this is the important part. This is the finish line. This is where you show your professionalism. This is where you show the level of your professionalism. And you know what? This is very important. Most of you guys, you don't do this. I know someone here me thinking I'm wasting my time but he's the one of those people that doesn't do this it pisses me off when the client phone comes to me like looking like this and here the customer is here to complain that since he fixed this phone to this kind of guy this phone is no longer reading network or the mouthpiece is no longer working or the phone is no longer charging Or because it's carelessness when you're touching someone's property. Don't be careless, guys. It ruins your business, it ruins your name. You won't last too long in that place. In this business, you make money by staying longer in one place. You don't need to market yourself, you know, in this business. The only way you market yourself is doing perfect job in this business. So the longer you stay in one place, the easy you become known, you know. Everyone calls business you in, when you grow in business you grow in, in, in also in hate, trades, become a target. Criminals who think about coming and rob your store. You know those kind of things. You must always know that it will happen. You know? That's how you grow in this business. But don't forget that there is a good part of it. You need to be professional. You need to, to take care of your client thing. You know. So if you heard me talking by myself for lately, I've been thinking about my strategies of uh, of advertising now on my WhatsApp. I'll make a certain videos and, and then at the end of that video I'll put it all there in my number that if you want a video like the one that you just finished watching uh, call this number so I was thinking about the whole script the whole idea 
it was playing in my head so that's how I, 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 I put something in my head I have to speak it out as it is I have to speak to myself sometimes so, that's how it is when you're getting the gift from God from the most high okay my guys now I want to present to you a phone that I just changed LCD right now this is a phone that I just changed LCD right now I don't know if you can see it let me take them pictures yeah this is the phone this is the phone tell me how it looks like and also comment with a picture of your phone that you just finished doing now welcome to my channel this is king of south brought to you by Nalon the phone care podcasted here at we looking into problem how to fix our city or how to run your pro business properly on changing LCDs for phones for a living. I've been doing it for five years. It's done, it's doable. And in been in one place for five years. It's done, it's doable. Of course, you face challenges. But be honest to yourself and be honest in your business. Don't get tempted by selling a client's phone. That's one of the rules. Have peace. See you in another video.